Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. You don't want to end up in there, eh? Holy smoke, I'm stuck. Yeah, we're having some issues here. I think I took the wrong road, eh? <laughs> Salam alaikum. Oh, I see. If I get eaten by the bears. <laughs> People, I hope you're doing well. Another day, another opportunities. It's tea on the menu. I had some paratha, I had some fried egg. So all good now. I'm still deciding if I'm gonna stay here one more night or if I'm gonna continue to Astore. Um, the thing is, the problem is with these places up in the mountain is that electricity is really expensive all over Pakistan. So they try to save electricity as much as they can. And they have power cuts like during the whole day so they have a generator but it costs a lot for them and understand so during the daytime they don't have any electricity in the hotels some of them do but this hotel does not apparently you will check with the manager but i'm sure they not only for me they can put on the electricity so i think i have to continue to astore which is fine then i just stay there and do the same thing it's more in the middle of the mountains there as well but I will see they have so really really good Wi-Fi here it was so fast uh, and that's very unusual for the especially the north of Pakistan so that's why I'm a little bit desperate but I'll figure it out I figured out yeah okay drinking up my tea I'm gonna pack Sarek and uh, we're gonna feed a little doggy over there as well I have a little sweet little dog next to my bark, but he has something in his eye. I think he broke his eye somehow. It's really terrible to see. Oh, he's so kind, and I gave him some paratha and a little egg, so he got really happy. So we'll see if we can give some more. Anyway, let the adventure continue. Yo, this is the guy I I fed earlier with some paratha. We had some egg. Oh, but he had something in his eye. I feel so sorry for him. He's very kind and he's exhausted. Oh. Oh, my heart is breaking. Oh, yeah. I hope you will do well. I hope they will feed you a little bit at least here. Ew. Bye bye doggy. Bye bye. So we're gonna go to a fuel station first of all uh, to get some food for Sarek. So a good night's sleep. Continue into this beautiful mountain area. <laughs> so excited. So excited for the kids on the road. Spanish bridges they have over here. <laughs> they look so cool and dangerous. <laughs> Wow. Road is silly, don't be silly. I love the road signs here as well. They're so funny and educational. They teaching us about the environment to keep it clean and a lot of stuff along the way. I really like that. PSO. 24 hours, yes. Here I will fuel up. Okay. Okay. Very good. Friendly name. I'm from Sweden. Okay. Oops. Thank you, Sophia. Pakistan, nice. Very good. Beautiful. I like it a lot. That river is so spectacular and so powerful. Oof. It's not even a river, what is that? No, it's, it's sand. <laughs> I thought it was a river, but it was just sand. I'm hallucinating. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Our store is only 81 kilometers away, very short day. And it's well needed, honestly. I just need to relax a little bit. My body is still in stress. So, 
That was a good decision to just do a short one today. Whoa. <laughs> you don't want to end up in there, eh? Down there, there were some tents, and I'm assuming people are living in those tents. travel along the river like the level of the river Ooh, <laughs> this is so much fun oh yeah we made it welcome to Astora yay all right next mission find a hotel yeah we're having some issues here I think I took the wrong road eh you see the orange road there, I should go. <laughs> this is some other kind of <laughs> road I'm taking. I don't know. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah? Whoop. <laughs> Shukriya! There's the road, the main road. How did it end up here? Eh? Uh, does it matter? No. Let's continue. Alright, we find a room here in Mulberry Lodge. It's really good. 6,000, which is great. I'm gonna have something to eat now, so that's been great. <laughs> what a trip, eh? I have a massive bed. <laughs> oh, and I got some food here as well, so. I will take and eat a little bit of rice and some fried vegetables and some sauce over there with some water. Mm. Well needed. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna try to get a little bit of Wi-Fi so I can do some work. <sighs> I just had a shower and I'm so fresh and I got so tired. <laughs> Brilliant. And I got to try some of their apples here as well, it was so delicious. I gotta wrap it up from here and uh, we continue tomorrow. I see you tomorrow! Good morning all my beautiful people, I hope you're doing well. Another day, another opportunities. I have some today. Ah, it's brilliant. Brilliant. I hope it will stay like this at least for until the afternoon. That will be great. Because now I'm heading into Deosai National Park. I've been longing for this park since many years back. So I'm really excited to see how it looks like and to spend some time out there in this highland plateau. Yeah, probably we'll sleep there one or two nights, so we'll see. Um, camping, I mean. So yeah, I'm very excited for it. Oh, I'm just gonna go and eat some breakfast and pack everything and then I will go and give Sarek some food as well. I think there's a fuel station, the last one is over here. So I gotta do that. Uh, yes, let's have some breakfast first. We'll have some paratha, coffee.
All right, thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Mulberry Lodge. Such a nice place. Let's go up in the mountains again. Woo! Gotta turn her a little bit nice here. There we go, Aquila. So, on the road again. This way, this way it is. Ah, this is the boys' school. I heard they were singing in the morning. Yo, that was so nice to listen to, drinking my coffee and listen to their singing. It's a boys' school. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's on the road, Quico. Wow. <laughs> I'm in paradise. Pakistani paradise. Look at this fuck, eh? Wow. This is incredible. The river down there. People living on that plateau over there. And then you have the mountains. <laughs> so cool. You see you're sharing the road with everyone, even the big trucks on this tiny road with no fences around. <laughs> but you gotta deliver things to the supermarkets down here and the fuel stations, you know. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's impressive. What a beautiful day, doom, doom, doom. That song I'm gonna play in a while in my ears. You too, beautiful day. Yeah, I can't sing. <laughs> but I do my best for you guys. <laughs> Let the adventure continue towards the Zwai. Salam alaikum. <laughs> Petrol, no? Perfect. Full, please. Salam. I'm gonna see what I have in this supermarket. Maybe a bottle of water. Salam alaikum. That was the last few station until Skardu, which is like 150 kilometers away, which is no problem at all. It depends what route I decide to take on the way though. That's my only concern. But you know, Sarek, she can handle at least 300 kilometers. I tried 350 once, but I don't like to go to the to the limit with her. So I said always oh, around 300, 320 kilometers then. I want to have fuel. And we had some snacks. Some extra emergency snacks as well. I filled up, topped up in case I get stuck in the in the wild for, for a while. Who knows? Anything can happen. So stocking up, all good. We have water. Should be right. Remember now the dinner I had yesterday, I had some dal and uh, it surprised me, it came with fish. So it's apparently from this river a truth fish and it was really really good here we have some truth fish from the river actually from this river out here and this is dal masha with some bread yummy and i'm reading a little bit as well this one sapiens a brief history of humankind super duper good so they grill it over a fire and oh Invited me for the fish, it's so kind, eh? Holy smoke, I'm stuck! Come on! 
Yay! <laughs> I almost fell. <laughs> oh, this is pure sand there. <sighs> adventure, adventure. Loving it. Woo! <laughs> With a man sitting together along the street and he's relaxing. Hello. <laughs> and they're sitting and chatting. And looking at cars and motorcycles and meeting people, I guess. <laughs> it's really nice. You see, here's been a landslide. This is obvious one landslide. So, yeah, this is one of a lot. My heart is beating so fast for this. Oh, Himalayas, Pakistan, wow. I'm in paradise. That is not good, eh? Tractor in the river. Mm. Hope that person is alright. I guess this didn't happen today, but... Oh, we have pine trees! Yay! <laughs> oh! And it smells so good! Oh! <laughs> I love forests! You know, I'm from Sweden and I'm born in the forest basically, so this is like home for me, the pine trees especially, I love it. Oh, someone is camping here. <laughs> yeah, the pine trees just something I always miss when I'm out from Sweden. These beautiful trees and the birch tree of course as well. Forest is really important for me. I realized that after all the years I've been on the road, that I always, always longing for a forest. Now I've been out in the desert for a long time, so, you know, coming back to a familiar place, it's always nice. From time to time. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How small are you? You're so small, chewing some grass, enjoying life in the mountain together with a sister or brother over there. <laughs> I'm not gonna disturb you, bye bye. Yes, but we have some motorcyclists coming here. Salam alaikum. Sweden. Sweden. Yes. And you're from here? Yes, Pakistan. Karachi. Karachi. It's a long way. Yes. Wow. How long are you traveling? How long have you been on the road? <laughs> What's your name? Nazar. Nazar and Krikos Adventure. Yes. And what's your name? Safar. Safar. These guys have been driving from Karachi. That's a long way. All down to the coast. That's impressive. Here is the entrance to the Design National Park. I'm so excited. You pay $20 in either a dollar or in Pakistani. And the best camping spots are Parapani or 
Shusari Lake. It's gorgeous here. Oh, this way. And with a good weather as well. Mm. The only thing I gotta be careful with is the bears. It's a lot of bears around here and they are hungry. <laughs> Especially with the tourists around. And they're leaving food and stuff. So the bears come and they get used to that and start eating from people's bags and cars and whatever they find. So it's very important to not keep any food in your tent when you're sleeping here. And this, a hey, wow, <laughs> absolutely top three. I'm in love. I'm in love, so much love, wow. I'm smiling like I never did before, it feels like. <laughs> oh. It's incredible what nature can do to you. Well, at least to me. Nature changed my mood, changed my everything. I just become my myself again, you know? from the roots where we belong out in the wild mm. I feel so safe out here, that's the crazy part people are afraid of the wilderness but I feel safe and so curious about everything there's so many animals in this national park you have lynx, you have snow leopards, you have bears, you have marmots wolves, foxes, a lot of rabbits lots of animals and bird life and fish you can fish truth here and many other kind of fishes oh here we go entering the Zurai National Park Astor <laughs> right oh god oh lord holy holy look at that lake nah <laughs> Holy smoke! I am definitely in paradise! Wow! Wow, wow, wow! We have 11 kilometers left until a uh, camping spot. So I might stay there. <laughs> but it's gonna take me around 30, 40 minutes to get there in this road. And uh, we'll see what happens there. I have no idea how it looks like. Uh, they say there are like a camping spot, but I don't know if it's like a proper camping spot or how does it work? Do you pay for it or not? 
<laughs> it's a little question mark there. Oops. Ah. But we will see what happens. I'm just gonna enjoy this incredible scenery, the heat from the sun, the air is cool, so it's gonna be cold tonight when I'm camping. Uh, but I have my sleeping bag, so it's good. No worries. I'm gonna camp again. Ha! <laughs> that was last time in Saudi Arabia. Oof. I've been longing for it. Wait, wait. And I used my drone as well today for the first time since Turkey. And when was Turkey? Yeah, it was like, I don't know, a long time ago. <laughs> so, yeah. It's great. Great. I love the drone. Down there, I can see the place where I will stay tonight. Yeah, it looks really nice. Wide open area. And you have a glamping over there, and then you have a, uh, like a camping, camping spot there. So it depends what you feel like, but I would like to pitch my tent and try to avoid some bears, that would be cool. <laughs> see somewhere here I will camp I think I will just look around and see first what what the options are eh? but the guy who I met he told me that we shouldn't be afraid of the bears they are staying in their side <laughs> but I don't know mm, yeah, it looks nice definitely doable this is great, eh? Somewhere around here. We are around 5,500 meters above the sea level. This is the second highest plateau of the world. <sighs> it's so nice. I got a recommendation to put my tent here. Uh, it's like over across from the glamping place, I'll put it here. I think that should be all right for tonight. I'm sure. Oh, we'll see if I get eaten by the bears. <laughs> right when I pitched my tent to fix everything, fix the mattress, all of that, I tried the bed and I just fell asleep directly. <laughs> <laughs> One hour sleep and I think I will sleep a lot more tonight. I don't really think even a bear can wake me up, eh? Look at this view! Oh. I'm sitting here and enjoying the sunset and uh, yeah, soon I'm gonna use to go into my tent and I'm gonna watch a movie! <laughs> I'm gonna watch a movie in Desoai National Park! Oh. I um, charged my computer fully so I can watch one movie and I think it's gonna be Inception because I actually never watched that movie! So it's time! So I thought why not do it here? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining my adventure from Sweden to Nepal. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and join my Patreon family as well. There's more behind the scenes exclusive material there. Take care and I'll see you soon.